Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Catch Me by Demi Lovato on the guitar because it was requested a lot. So um, before I begin, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry because I'm not really sure exactly how to play this too well. Um, it was kind of difficult for me to learn myself. So um, yeah, sorry if I don't help very much, but um, you know, it's worth a shot. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, well first things first, I'm going to go ahead and teach you the different chords that she uses throughout the song. Um, there are quite a few, so if you need more time to look at the fingering pattern, then go ahead and check the description or uh, pause the video until you can get it down pat. So just to say something before we begin, um, I'm not sure exactly if the names of these chords are correct or not. There are a lot of chords that I'm not sure are even chords at all. So um, for the sake of this tutorial, I went ahead and named them myself. So you're going to have funky chords like A question mark. But um, just stick with me and hopefully you guys can learn how to play it anyways. So yeah, let's begin. She starts the song off with an A chord, but I'm not sure exactly what kind of A chord it is. So I went ahead and named it A question mark. Um, it sounds like this. Remember, the X is me not to play those strings. So from there you go to the E alternate chord, which looks just like the A chord, except you move your first finger down one string. It sounds like this. From there you have your C sharp minor chord. Sounds like this. There you go to your G sharp minor 7 chord, which is a little bit of a transition. Then you have your A alternate fingering chord. Sounds like this. And then your B alternate chord, which the fingering is same as A, except you just move up two frets. are almost done so keep on going. You have your E5 chord which looks just like the chord we started with. Sounds like this. From there you go to your E flat slash E chord which is the same except you move your first finger down one string. And the last chord you guys need to know is A minor which looks like this. And it sounds like this. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and practice those chords as many, as many times as you need to until you got them down pat. And when you're ready to keep going, then you can go ahead and click continue and we will work on the plucking pattern. All right guys, do you have your chords down? That's good. So um, let's go ahead and move on to the plucking pattern. So go ahead and put your A question mark chord on. The way Demi or whoever her band member is plays this is you play the bottom string first and then you play the top two together. So it goes your E alternate chord, same thing, play the bottom and then the top two. Back, again. Now you're going to go to your C sharp minor chord and the rest of these chords are a little bit different because instead of playing just two strings, you're going to play the bottom and then you're going to play three. So you just plug them. G. A. B. Okay? 
So that's pretty much the same throughout all of her verses and the choruses and everything. Even the bridge is the same. Um, the only part that it changes is when she starts the last chorus. She kind of uh, does an upbeat kind of rhythm. And uh, just to tell you guys the truth, this was really hard for me to get down. So I'm going to try my best to teach you guys how to do it. And hopefully you guys can master it a little better than me. Okay, so for this part, you're going to put your A alternate chord down. And the way she plays this, you play the bottom string first, then the middle, then the top two, and then the bottom again. I know that's a little confusing, so let's do that again. Bottom, middle, top two, bottom. So. And it's the same throughout the rest of the chorus. to do is strum every eighth note. Alright, so now you have all the information you need to um, play the song. So go ahead and practice your chords changes and your strumming and that really hard middle part and everything. And when you're ready to begin, you can click play again and we will put the two together and play the entire song. So good luck. All right, so hopefully you guys can play it now. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to skip from the first verse and the first chorus over to the bridge because I'm running out of time and because the second verse and second chorus are exactly like the first. So here we go. Before I fall too fast And if you decide to do a cover of it and post it, definitely send it to me because I'd love to watch it. So, yeah, good luck and thanks again for watching. Bye.